Hey guys, welcome back to Shozen's channel gadgets, we have collected some amazing videos for you, hope you like them. We thank you for showing so much love in the previous videos. If you are new to our channel, please support us by clicking the red subscribe button. Without further ado, let's begin. This is the Kino from Gerber, no knife can do it all, but this one comes close deployment of the dual use blade is initiated with the starter tab, and finished with your thumb or a nail nick, the blade is stout giving you both a scraping and a cutting edge. And you get all that in a compact format you can wear on a belt in a pocket. Or on a keychain it's available in two colors, out on the town or around the house the keynote can multitask like no other. This is the Schrade SCH and 9 mic everyday carry assisted opening pocket knife. Designed to be a low-profile lightweight and capable everyday carry blade. The SCH and 9 mic Mini Landshark, assisted opening liner lock folder. Sports a shaving sharp 2 and a quarter inch, fine edge blade fashioned from black-coated OUS 8 stainless steel. The steep clip point and narrow belly converge to form an extra sharp tip designed to conquer piercing and fine cutting tasks. Making short work of common slicing and cutting tasks, when not in use the blade is protected and stored in a durable steel inner frame that is reinforced with rugged aluminum handle slabs. The aluminum handle is contoured for grip that employs our color shift technology. That allows the handle to change color depending on the lighting and viewing angle. On the back side of the handle a stout yellow profile clip secures the blade to the inside of your pocket for easy access. To deploy the knife slide the safety lock down, exposing the red dot then snap the blade into action, using either the ambidextrous thumb plate for ear finger actuator to engage our magic assisted opening technology. Store the knife by sliding the internal liner lock to the side and carefully close the blade. Secure the knife in the lock position, by sliding the safety lock up covering a red dot created for stylish and comfortable everyday carry. Crafted from premium materials and built for Ally FE time. This is the straight SCHA9 McMini Landshark, assisted opening tech folder. Find the SCHA9 Mc with fine edge and color shift handle, the SCHA9 MCS with a part serrated edge, the SCHA9 milliseconds with part serrated edge and gray handle, and the SCHA9M with fine edge. This is the kettlebell by Gerber, the kettlebell offers a surprising amount of utility and a compact. Format the dual coil offers superior grip and control 7CR stainless steel as tough holds an edge and is corrosion resistant. The kettlebell is available in anodized gray and green dual thumb studs offer left or right hand deployed. The frame lock offers secure lockup and is easy to close. The pocket clip offers tip-up blade position for confident carry, also included as a manual. The kettlebell offers the EDC user modern design and strong utility in a compact form at UView module. Today we're going to talk about a new addition to our Sockpi family, the 177BK. Sockpi has been a very popular product line especially in law enforcement military, one of the restrictions, though is the majority of our daggers are double-edged. So we wanted to have an option for civilian carry, that is less restrictive the great thing about the mini dagger. We have this comfort pad so it works really good for inside, the waistband carry you can wear it with jogging gear, so it's a good self-defense option for civilians, also we've made modifications to the clip and added a little J-hook. That'll allow it to lock into say a mall system. If you're wearing it with the clip over the belt or even inside the waistband, it locks into the fabric so it won't pull the sheath out when you deploy the dagger. The sheath is a plastic injection molded design that allows it to be extremely form-fitting and slim in a stressful situation. Where this may need to be deployed it's a great tool. This is a medium to large sized hunting knife such as our Uncle Henry 153UH or 171UH or a reliable folder like the LBV at some point in our lives we've all been handed a razor sharp knife and wondered what the secret is to achieving that level of sharpness well search no further than the leather strap before we get started. You'll need a few things as crap piece of leather preferably a chunk large enough to cut a piece measuring 7 inches by 2 inches. A piece of square cut and flat wood, roughly a half inch thick 2 inches wide and 1 foot in length, some adhesive 5 minute epoxy works best strapping compound and your favorite outdoor knife. While a simple piece of leather will do a fine job as a makeshift strap when out in the field or in a pinch, taking the time to make a proper strap, will yield a lightweight reliable tool that when used properly, will help you achieve a razor sharp edge on your blade, to make the strap cut your leather about 7 inches long and the same width as your wood. Once you have your piece cut it's time to glue the leather strip to the wood. Glue the rough side of the leather facing up, spread and smooth the adhesive out evenly. Then press the leather flat on the adhesive and work out any rough spots as your strap needs to be flat, if you like you can also craft a handle from the other end of the ones. 
You finished making your strap, we recommend breaking it in by lightly working into the leather. A small amount of strapping compound before use while a strapping compound isn't always necessary. It does make a noticeable difference when strapping a fine edge knife. Now you're ready to strap place the cutting edge of your knife onto the strap so that it's pressed flat against the leather. And with a slight amount of pressure make fully complete passes with each side of the edge, as with any sharpening or honing process. It's important to use the same number of passes on each side of the blade to achieve a consistent edge, always drag away from the cutting edge. When strapping leading with the cutting edge will cause the knife to catch and slice into the leather, which over time will ruin your strap after a few passes on each side of the blade. Check your edge you may have to repeat this process a few times, depending on the condition of your edge when you begin if after a few rounds of strapping your edge still isn't at the desired level of sharpness. You may need to add more compound to the leather there you have it a fine edge. That any outdoors man or even a barber would be proud of stopping is the final step to a razor sharp fine edge. Once you first sharpened with a stone or sharpening rod for tips, on sharpening fine edged and serrated knives with a stone. Before we move on, do me a favor, my analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that, can you guys please hit the subscribe button, you guys watch my videos every day anyway. So, you might as well subscribe, and keep up to date with every video we put out. We hope you like this video, for more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel Gadgets, if you haven't seen our previous video, be sure to check it out, till next time. Peace.